Luis Lorenz Marques is an ethnographic artwork taking expression in a virtual world animated with humanoid characters. This is a representation of the city of Lorenz Marques in Mozambique during the historical period of Portuguese domination. The elaboration of the project started from a process of interviews with the community who left that city during the period next to the independence in 1975 and now lives in Portugal. Their accounts and shared material form a memorabilia from which an artistic and subjective reconstruction of the city was built in a 3D environment. A community of humanoid avatars functions as agent storytellers. They roam autonomously the city and interact with each other as well as with the human audience. When the user selects any of these avatars, it interrupts its current activity, then, animated and gesticulating as if they were speaking, each of the individuals in this population is the bearer of an excerpt from an interview, functioning as the carrier and mediator of real-life human stories. The audience is thus implicitly invited to seek out these storytellers, chasing virtual characters through the city in order to listen to their stories. The model of artificial intelligence animating these characters is a computational ecosystem. Computational ecosystems are multi-agent systems where individuals emulate simplified life forms and are organized in a hierarchical food chain. In the tradition of literary allegory, species in the ecosystem are equated problematically to social groups of individuals in the virtual city. This was as to represent the recent history of European colonialism. We draw upon the two-layered organization of the ecosystem, with producers and consumers, to take advantage of the existing predator-prey dynamics in order to build up a narrative depicting colonials and servants. Individuals are identified by a genome-like string, where each bit or combination of bits corresponds to certain phenotypic features. When the genome has the servant gene, the individual in question becomes a producer. All the others become consumers who feed from them. The sequence of bits in the genome establishes the metabolic pattern that defines the position in the hierarchy of consumers. Consumers may prey on producers as well as to be cannibals and live on the energy captured from other consumers at lower hierarchical levels. On the contrary, when producers are hungry, they move towards farms where they will work until their energy and chemical balance gets replenished. A hormonal system functions as input for a classifier system regulating individual behavior. This is characterized by a constant movement towards a preferred position. This behavior is only interrupted by the desires of eating, playing and mating, as defined by the hormonal system and the classifier. What are visualized are the ephemeral states of the individuals in the ecosystem. Each action performed in the system is translated into an animation in the virtual world. The actions such as the exchange of energy or the multiplication, for instance, instead of the animations of fish animals interacting and eating each other, we use the animations of humanoids in different moments of conversation. The result is a populated landscape where individuals roam through the city, ignoring some of the members of the crowd while joining with others in small groups and performing visibly expressive dialogues.